Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this video is a quick tutorial on how to install and activate Windows 11 in VirtualBox. So what is a VirtualBox? For those who don't know, VirtualBox is an application that allows us to install and run operating systems. If there is any simple and secure way to try Windows 11 right now, that has to be on the VirtualBox. So all the download links will be in the description below. And the first thing to do is to install the virtual box and this is how you get. These operating systems you need to install by yourself but for today's video we are installing Windows 11. So click on new. You can give whatever the name you want and set the version as Windows 10 64 bit. Make sure you set it right. And now it's asking for RAM. Give at least 2 GB of RAM. I have 16 gigs installed so I'm giving 4 but 2 should be mandatory. And click on next, next and next. It will recommend some storage but as per my experience with Windows 11, give at least 30 GB of storage. And if you face any issues installing this right now, probably it has to be with the storage. So now it's created and of course you don't get all these. We need to tweak some settings so select this and go to settings. If you think you have a powerful processor you can set the count to 2. Go to storage and click on this empty disk. And here choose a disk file. Select the Windows 11 file that you have downloaded. And that's it over here. You can change any settings if you want to. And for now, I'm starting this. If you get a pop up like this, select the Windows 11 file here. It's gonna take some time. As you can see, we are ready to install. It's asking for product key. As of now, we don't have any. So click on this and choose Windows 11 Home. Here, we're installing this for the first time and not upgrading from previous windows. So choose the second option to install and this is the drive we have allocated as you can see 50 GB in my case choose this and continue okay this is gonna take some time if you're running on an SSD it can go a little faster but for me it's gonna take around 15 minutes and in the meantime you can go ahead and download the VirtualBox extension file After downloading, simply double click on it and it will get installed. So the major advantage with the virtual box is whatever happens in it stays in it and it won't affect your personal or any other files. And if something crashes, we can install that again without any concerns. And here we go. This is the setup screen. I hope you know how to set this up, so go through the process. And here it is, Windows 11. But there are some issues we need to fix. First thing, as you can see, the screen is not adjusting by itself. So we have to fix that. 
Now go to personalization settings. As you can see, we can't change any of this until we activate Windows. In order to fix the screen, go to Devices and insert Guest Editions image. Now open the File Explorer and you can see the Guest Editions here. Open this and run VBOX Windows Editions as Administrator. Forgot to mention, there is an audio bug right now so I suggest you to mute the volume and install everything it asks for. After completion as you can see it's telling us to reboot but we can do that later. And to activate windows go to Microsoft Edge. And search for KMSP code download and download the program. But before running it, go and disable Windows security including the app and browser control. After disabling all this, open the downloaded file, copy the password and extract the program and run it. It will ask for password, paste it over here and continue with installation. After installing, search for KMS Pico and open it. I know it's looking kinda suspicious but it works. Now remove all the unnecessary apps that you see over here and finally go ahead and restart. After restarting, to fix the screen, all you have to do is to keep stretching the window and wait for some time and it will start adjusting the screen. Uh, remember the suspicious app that we have installed? Search for KMS Pico and remove it including the downloaded file. And now you can enable all the Windows security options that you have disabled before. So that's it. We have successfully installed the Windows 11. Screen looks fine. And now go to personalization settings. And you can see, you can tweak this whatever the way you want. As you can see on the screen, I'm switching between Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if you're facing any screen issues, simply go to view and select auto recess guest display and it will be fine. So that's it for today's video. Hope you found it useful. If you like what you're watching, consider subscribing. And if you're facing any issues, do let me know in the comment section below.